Hi everyone, welcome to Narasia Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last video, I have explained different classifications of functions. The function is taking input and not giving the output. But in some of the cases, we have to define the function which is taking input and as well as is returning the output also. So, whatever the value is returned by the function, as we need to collect in the calling function. So, what is a calling function and what is the called function? The same terminology of a C language here we are using. C, I will explain with example. Here it is a, so I am writing the common statements of uh, every program. So, every statement, every instruction is belongs to the package main and uh, we are importing the format package which contains some predefined functions we are using in the program. And program execution starts with the main function is a default and it is not taking anything and is not taking anything is format dot print ln. We are giving the message is a start set main is a message. Now here we are writing a user function. Suppose we are performing addition operation. So to perform addition operation we need to pass input so that after processing the input it is returning the output also how to define here it is a function as a keyword to define the functions here it is a function name i am using add addition operation it is taking input for example two numbers it is taking a it is integer type next one b it is also integer type integer and here inside is performing the operation a plus b is adding and the result we collect into c but see here it is a c variable we have to declare by the time sir first i will declare means what it's your wish but how can we declare means what using the keyword var variable c of type is a integer type this is variable declaration inside the function how to declare variable so here it is a into that variable c we are collecting the value a plus b and it is returning that value written c see here the function is returning c c is of type is an integer type so that function has to return in other programming languages we have to write the return type here but now not preceded by the name here it is a followed by the arguments type like this we need to collect here it is the function is taking input into a and b as so everything we have to write followed by the variable name so return type is also we have to write followed by the function name function name and how to declare a local variable means what with the help of where the help of where is so returning that c value so first of all from the main we have to call this function add is the function and it is expecting two numbers so how to read input and i want to pass means what that will come later input functions uh, input from the end user what are the functions we are using just like a scan of in c language here what are the functions we we have to use in a go language we'll see in a coming concepts but as of now directly i'm passing the values suppose 10 comma 22 values i'm passing the 10 will come and store into a and 20 will store into b here it is a it will return the value 30 so 30 we have to collect and store into a variable is any variable for example result and in the same way that result we need to define here it is a variable here it is a print main is not required directly i'm writing just variable result and it is of type what integer type after collecting that value into result we are printing printf i'm using suppose format dot printf function i'm using sum some value here it is a percentage d and of course sending the control to next line and we are printing that value with the help of variable into which we have collected the result of the function so here what is called calling function and what is called call function from which function we are calling this add function this is what a calling function this is calling function that is and here it is a which function you have called this is what called function is a called function so whenever you are passing the values to called function it will process the values input values in the called function and it will return the value back to calling function 
in the calling function we have to collect that value into a variable res and we are printing so this is the function is taking input and returning output so return statement is required so this is one kind of classification how can we execute this from the command prompt same here it is we have saved on desktop so here it is a first i'm moving to desktop just simply here it is a go run test dot go go run test dot go see look at this the sum value is printing 30 this is how we need to define the function which is taking input and giving the output so here it is i have explained only one simple example to understand the classification type in coming concepts number of examples we will see in those examples directly i will utilize this classification okay so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you